summer today I'm back with a new recipe for you guys today we're going to be making pancakes so I, I have over here two eggs and we took two tablespoons of sugar we have 200 ml of milk we have one and a quarter cup of all-purpose flour we have two teaspoons of baking powder and we have two teaspoons of vanilla powder so what you're going to do is you're going to take your sugar and you're going to put it with your eggs and then you're going to mix it and you're going to mix this until the sugar has like when you like think that the sugar is like goodly like very good like mixed into the eggs and then we're going to add the 200 ml of milk so right now I'm going to mix this you can use a Vix or you can use a fork. So now I have mixed the sugar and eggs very good together. And now we're going to add the 200 ml of milk and then you're going to mix that together with your eggs and sugar. So I am done mixing in my milk with the eggs and sugar. Now we're going to add um, two, one and a half, one and a quarter cup of uh, all purpose flour. And you're going to mix that in. I dropped some um, outside. So I'm gonna tell my mom to do this part and I'll see you guys when this is done mix, like getting mixed. Okay, so <laughs> I'm done mixing in the flour with the eggs and as you can see, this is a very thick um, batter. It's more thicker than the cake batter because that's how you want it to be. So the pancakes are gonna like fluff up, otherwise they're just gonna be flat. So the next thing you'd want to add is your two teaspoons of baking powder. And you're going to mix. And kids, if you're making this, you do need su parent supervision. Uh, I have my mom supervising. So um, if you can't make this on your own, tell your parents to make it because it's a very easy recipe. So as you can see, I have done... Um, mixing in the baking powder. Now I'm going to add the two teaspoons of vanilla powder. The, you can add vanilla essence or cocoa powder, whatever you want. I am using um, vanilla powder. Or you can add vanilla essence. I put one tablespoon oil and I'm just going to like put it on the pan and you, you spread it out on the pan evenly. So, um, you can use a non-stick pan and that's better because then otherwise your pancakes are going to stick to the pan. So use the non-stick pan and then put like two to three dots drops of oil and then just spread it with a brush like I am or you can take a paper towel and just spread it with that. Okay, so now you're going to take one, just one spoon of batter and you're gonna put it on your pan make a nice like little circle in like the pancake shape this batter is not gonna spread so you'd want to spread it like like a circle i'm just gonna take all the batter off of the spoon so i'm gonna use the fork that we were using to mix we're gonna take all the batter off the spoon So guys, when you see the bubbles on the top, you'd want to flip your pancake. So right now we see the bubbles and we are going to flip it. Wow, that is amazing. I like that. Now let's do the other one that my mom kind of messed up. And you'd want to cook it on medium heat, not too high, not too low. And if your pancakes are too brown, turn the heat down. So we're going to wait for these. We only wait like five seconds and they were done. So you can see how easy it is. But the mixing part is a bit too hard. Okay. So we're going to see you guys when the other side is done. And when we used up all the batter. So guys, the sugar was a little like less. So we added uh, five more teaspoons of sugar. And we added cocoa powder. Here are the ones that we added cocoa powder to if you want to make them. So guys, here are the ones that we added cocoa powder to. Um, I know they look uh, burnt, but they're, that, they're not burnt. That's just the cocoa powder color. We added two uh, spoons of cocoa powder. And we added about 
seven teaspoons of sugar after the ones we made, the vanilla ones we made. Because the cocoa powder is bitter, so you'd want to add six spoons, uh, no, teaspoons of sugar. Try it. tastes so good you guys should definitely try this they taste super good and super nice and that's it for this video if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe turn the post notifications on so you'll be notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you in my next video with a new recipe bye guys